So Control. Control. How nice is this? Remedy. They're giving a free next-gen update. How amazing. If you've bought the Control Ultimate Edition. <laughs> so this Control Ultimate Edition, it's coming out on Steam on August 17. Uh, and it's the first time it will be available on Steam. It includes all of the DLC. That's correct? I believe so. Yeah. Um, and then it's also available on Epic Games Store, Xbox One, PS4. This is actually like, you know, I'm interested in picking up this Ultimate Edition. I'm going to keep my eyes on it. But the did, story here didn't is... You mention, didn't you mention something like this? Like, oh, if they had a version for the DLC, like... I yeah, literally. It up, I think when we talked about... No, Control. no, that's what I said last no, like, week. Or the and week then they announced prior. this. I know, I know. <laughs> well, this is... I, look, the thing is, I'm very frugal. Or like my wife says, I'm cheap. But um, I'm very frugal, you know, I'm patient. It's not great for the podcast, <laughs> right? but I'm very patient. And this game is like really high up on my list for, I'll, I'll skip my backlog and play this game. Um, but I just wanted to wait until they have the ultimate edition, which they do now. Normally they call it a game of the year edition. That's what I'm very <laughs> interested in waiting for. Um, but yeah, the, the story here is that you can only get the next gen update for PS5 and Xbox Series X, X slash S um, if you have the Ultimate Edition. And yeah, they're getting a hell of a lot of backlash for this. And I don't believe that they've changed a the position as, as the time of recording, which I'm anticipating they will change the position on this because <laughs> they're going to get so much backlash over this. W what are your thoughts on this one? I'm just distracted by the most trivial thing ever. So just a, a bit of inner workings about this <laughs> podcast. You know, we, we've got a run sheet where we have the stuff. And I just realized that, like, I bolded an entire heading of this, like, topic. And I didn't bolt the last letter. And it's just really frustrating. Oh, yeah. I noticed that, too. <laughs> the word I addition. That kind of stuff. The, the, N, the N isn't bolded. I need to fix it. All right. <laughs> ah, done. Okay. I can talk again. Whew. All right. Cross is averted. <laughs> uh, so I... I'm in two minds with this, right? Mm. First of all, I hate when people feel super entitled to things that they that were never part of their original purchase, right? When you purchase this game, there was never any indication that, hey, you know, you're going to somehow get an upgrade path on the new consoles. They wouldn't have known, obviously, that that was going to be a thing themselves anyway, right? Um, remedy. But... It's the other half of me is, yeah, it's completely sucks that they're only offering it to people that buy the Ultimate Edition. The thing for me is that, okay, the Ultimate Edition, I, I love those releases because, yeah, the same as you, I like, you know, sometimes I'll just wait for a game and be like, oh, okay, I'm going to get the whole thing with the DLCs. Like, that's why I haven't played Borderlands 3 yet because they generally yeah. release about four or five DLCs for them and every other game, I've always bought them and played it all in one go. The... And so it sucks that they're only offering it there, but I hate the fact that people are basically saying, no, we, we're owed this. Yeah, I hate like, that as well. No, you're not owed it, right? What, to me, a good... A, a wouldn't, it still wouldn't have obviously appeased everyone, far from it, but there's a season pass for Control, right? Which is basically, when you think about it, the same as the Ultimate Edition in many ways. It's the game yeah. plus the DLCs. To me, a good middle line would have been well, if you've also had the season pass, which is essentially the equivalent of owning this game already, Ultimate Edition, then you'll also get it. To me, that would have been a kind of a good middle line. It wouldn't have obviously stopped people being pissed off. But this whole free, you're getting a free upgrade on next gen is only a thing now. It's never been a thing before, with the exception of a couple of situations like Assassin's Creed Black Flag, where uh ubisoft base said okay we'll we'll discount or we'll give you the new one you know it's it's not an expected thing in the past but but it is, it's but really it is a thing in the past it is a thing that they have to tackle each time they do it differently uh, and they get themselves no, the, into trouble no no the way it's always worked in the past is they when they re-release on a new console you buy it again that's the way it's always worked no, no, Every but the last game. console the last generation they did offer upgrades and sometimes it was Very... like pay six bucks very, it was very minimal, though. Like sure. the the gen, the general rule was okay. We're re-releasing like Dishonored Definitive Edition. It was always Definitive Editions on the new consoles. You never got those for free. And there was very no, no, I agree, I there, agree. And there were very few that offered it at a discounted rate. I think generally the way it worked was 
people that had it on Steam often got the upgrade because it was very minimal because they were almost already running the definitive editions. Like Skyrim is an example, right? When they re-released Skyrim on the on you know current gen, uh, they either they either sold it the upgrade. Um, I can't remember if it was free or if it was like a very small upgrade, but basically PC was different, right? But oh yeah, but there was a lot of a lot of people getting annoyed about that as well on the Steam as well, by the way. But um... yeah, so the the thing with this right is that what I also completely understand is things have changed, and mm. I can kind of you can kind of almost point at Microsoft for this because they've almost made it like a given with all their games and everything and the whole smart delivery. And now we're at the point where consumers or gamers, I should say, um, expect it. And this is one of the first few games to kind of buck that trend and make it, you know, obviously they're still giving it to you free, but you just not for the standard version of the game. But it just, yeah, it does irk me that people are acting like this is something that they are, um, that they're entitled to, basically. Well, and can I ask a really dumb question? Because, like, I'm more yeah. of a physical gamer, right? <laughs> so I've bought Control on the Xbox One. I'll be able to plug that into the Series X, like, the disc, and play it. Yeah? All, all good. Uh, well... Because it's backwards compatible. So uh, it won't look at, like, it won't have the next-gen upgrade. It won't have, like, super sexy graphics, all that kind of stuff. But I'll be able to play I- it. I don't think they've 100% confirmed it's every single game yet. So I, what I would say is that is likely the case, but you probably have to wait for them to like officially release a list of games that are actually but, confirmed for it. So I don't think they haven't... Other than the games I've already said, yeah. every other game, it's almost like you have to kind of put an asterisk for now until they actually confirm that it is actually going to be backwards compatible. But it's pretty much all their messaging has been that way. But yeah, I would be hesitant to assume that is the case. Because then how would it work if I've bought it digitally? Like if I bought Control digitally on the Xbox One, can I just, yeah. like, does it pop up on the Series X if it's compatible? Yeah, so that's the way it works at the moment okay. with 360 games and, okay. and that. It, and you're able to filter if you want to basically say show only Xbox One games or 360 games. Okay, but the, it's yeah, also yeah. very different at the moment because you have to like that's for digital, but for physical, it's very different in the sense that you have to like put the game in and then it just downloads it. But that yeah. game, like now they've built the systems around it. Whereas with the Xbox One, it was kind of a you know they had to work that into an ecosystem that wasn't built for it. So yeah, and they, they like to be fair to Microsoft, they did a great job with that stuff and basically you know as a more of a pc switch or non-xbox gamer is an easier way to say what i was about to say as a non-xbox <laughs> gamer i look at it with envy and go it feels like everything just works and probably doesn't but for me it's like a magical place where like oh they're getting xbox games to work on the xbox one which is like wow that's just insane um you look like i i land exactly the same as you on, on this if you've bought the dlc for control so you've bought it and launched bought dlc for it put you know fair good investment into it and a game that didn't sell that well and then they've gone and said no 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 you needed to have bought the game of the year edition and you've bought all this dlc but that won't count that's i think that's actually a mistake on their part like to do that and they could definitely like honor the dlc like if you've got the dlc on your system you will get the ticket that says you can get the next gen upgrade i think that that's it's actually i just think that's wrong like what they've done and to me from a business perspective i just think it's dumb as well because it's such an obvious thing that seems unfair um but yeah yeah, for me go on sorry to cut your thoughts on just think about the the technical part of this as well is that people bought normal control uh, and let's say they haven't bought the DLC. If they're expecting the free upgrade, that free upgrade, the version on the next gen console, is going to be packaged together with the DLC. Then they'd have to figure out, oh, does the person have the DLC 1? Do they have the DLC 2? And then figure out when they do that, are they? does it apply that they also get the DLC 1, DLC 2? No, it's one package because it's the ultimate edition that's going to be on the next gen console. So there's a whole bunch of like working around that have to do to even make that the case. So exactly what you just said, 
if the people have the DLCs, or and that's why I said the season pass, it's easy because then you know that they're going to have access to everything. Then, then that applies. But otherwise, it shouldn't apply, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah. Look, I get what you're saying. I, again, you know, we've spoken about this a lot. I feel like timing is really important, and I know they want to get the game out, but it's sort of like why drive the timing when you know you're releasing this update in September almost don't even mention the next gen upgrade because you know it's only a couple of months till next gen anyway yeah I guess they they want to sell copies of this so that's why they they, they mention it you know they they want you know there's the weird thing is you know there's there's people that may just purchase this again that haven't bought any DLCs because it probably even makes financial sense to do it considering they're going to get the free upgrades. So 